Well, it's starting to heat up out there, which can only mean one thing. We're getting into rainy season. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a rain gauge out of an empty two liter bottle. It's a fun and easy way to track how much rainfall is going on in your backyard. But just like most tropical and subtropical environments, here in Southwest Florida, we have two seasons. We have the dry season, going from December to April, characterized by cool, dry weather. And the rainy season that goes from May to November, characterized by rain. Oh. 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 I gotta get out of these wet clothes. That feels better. I always seem to be getting caught out in the rain. I'm sure you have too. Do you ever wonder why it rains so much here? As the sun beats down over the land and water, temperatures rise. The water from the Gulf to the Everglades will absorb that heat and begin to evaporate. All that evaporation causes clouds to form. In the afternoon, the skies begin to darken and we get those afternoon rain showers that we're all familiar with. It might be inconvenient to people, but they're essential for birds. Wading birds are some of the most beautiful and iconic birds here in Southwest Florida. Species include the great egret, the snowy egret, the great blue heron, the tricolor heron, the little blue heron, the white ibis, and the rosette spoonbill. Wading birds are great hunters, using their long necks like a spear to catch their prey. Wading birds will eat anything that swims, from frogs to fish, to crustaceans like crayfish and shrimp. If the rainy season is poor, there won't be enough water for these prey populations to increase, leading to less available food for birds. A healthy rainy season, on the other hand, allows prey populations to multiply, giving birds an all-you-can-eat buffet and allows them to stock up so they have enough energy going into nesting season in the winter. Using a rain gauge is a great way to track the amount of rainfall during the rainy season and a great way to predict how well wading birds will fare over the coming year. To make your rain gauge, you'll need an empty 2-liter bottle, A pair of scissors or a utility knife, a ruler, tape, a permanent marker, and beads or pebbles. Make a dotted line at the top of the bottle, just where it begins to get narrow. Next, cut the top of the bottle off along the dotted line. Make sure to get your parents to help you with this step. Now pour the pebbles or beads into the bottom of the bottle. The pebbles or beads will weigh down the bottom of the rain gauge so that it doesn't tip over if it's windy. Turn the top of the bottle upside down and place it inside the bottom part. Now secure the two pieces together with tape. Place a vertical piece of tape along the side of the rain gauge. Use your marker and ruler to measure out inches along the rain gauge. Fill your rain gauge up to the zero marker with water. This will ensure that you get an accurate reading. Well, we just finished up our rain gauge and it's all ready to go. And I just checked the weather. It looks like it's about to rain. So let's head outside. Place your rain gauge in a flat, open area. Make sure that you've filled the rain gauge with water up to the zero marker.
When it's done raining, check the level of your water gauge and record it. Check the internet or the paper to see how well your measurements compare to the official record. Well, I hope you had fun making this rain gauge, and I hope you learned something about the rainy season and why it's so important to birds. I hope to see you again next time, and until then, keep exploring.